imagine a life where managing type 2 diabetes is not a struggle, but a triumph. Today, we're exploring how intermittent fasting can be a game changer for managing type 2 diabetes. So whether you're newly diagnosed or have been managing type 2 diabetes for a while, stick around. This information could be a turning point in your journey towards better health. So, how can intermittent fasting help with type 2 diabetes? Well, let's break it down. Imagine your body like a car that's constantly running burning fuel even when it doesn't need to. That's what happens when we eat frequently throughout the day. Our insulin levels stay elevated, making it harder for our bodies to use stored fat for energy. Intermittent fasting gives your body a break from digestion, allowing your insulin levels to drop and your body to tap into those fat reserves. This can lead to weight loss, which is a major win for managing type 2 diabetes, but it doesn't stop there. Studies have shown that intermittent fasting can significantly improve blood sugar control. By giving your body a break from processing food, you're essentially giving your pancreas a break from producing insulin. This can improve your insulin sensitivity, meaning your body becomes more efficient at using insulin to lower blood sugar levels. Think of it like this. Imagine your cells have little doors that open to let glucose in, fueled by insulin. Over time, with consistently high insulin levels, those doors can get a little rusty and stuck. Intermittent fasting helps to clean up those doors, making them more responsive to insulin again. And the best part? The benefits of intermittent fasting extend beyond weight loss and blood sugar control. Some studies suggest it can even help reduce inflammation and protect against heart disease, both of which are major concerns for people with type 2 diabetes. Now, let's talk about the different ways you can practice intermittent fasting. It's important to remember that it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's about finding what works best for your body and your lifestyle. One popular method is alternate day fasting, where you alternate between days of eating normally and days of significantly reducing your calorie intake. This can be a bit challenging for beginners, so you might want to start with something more gradual. Another popular option is the 5-2 diet, where you eat normally for five days a week and restrict your calories to 500 to 600 for two non-consecutive days. This can be a good option for people who want more flexibility during the week. Then there's time-restricted feeding, like the 16-8 method, where you fast for 16 hours and have an eight hour eating window. This is often the easiest to adapt to as you can simply adjust your eating schedule. And for those who want a more flexible approach, there's the fast mimicking diet, which involves eating very low calorie meals for a few days each month to mimic the effects of fasting. The key is to choose a method that you can stick with long-term. Don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for you. If you find this helpful and haven't subscribed to Wellness Lori yet, now's the perfect time. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more videos like this. Before you jump into intermittent fasting, especially if you're managing type 2 diabetes, it's crucial to talk to your doctor. They know your medical history best and can help you determine if intermittent fasting is right for you. One of the most important things to monitor while intermittent fasting is your blood sugar levels. This is especially crucial if you're taking medications for diabetes as fasting can alter their effectiveness. Hypoglycemia or low blood sugar is a potential risk of intermittent fasting, especially if you're not careful. Symptoms can include dizziness, confusion, sweating, and even fainting. To avoid hypoglycemia, make sure you're staying hydrated, getting enough electrolytes, and eating balanced meals during your eating windows. And remember, it's always better to err on the side of caution and break your fast if you experience any signs of low blood sugar. Your doctor can help you adjust your medication dosages if needed and guide you on how to safely monitor your blood sugar levels while fasting. They can also help you identify any potential risks or interactions with your current medications. So, you're ready to give intermittent fasting a try? Awesome! Here are some practical tips to make the journey smoother and more effective. First and foremost, focus on eating whole, unprocessed foods during your eating windows. Think fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. These foods will provide you with the nutrients you need to stay energized and satisfied during your fasting periods. Speaking of energy, make sure you're getting enough protein in your diet. Protein helps to keep you feeling full and satisfied, which can be especially helpful during fasting periods. It also helps to preserve muscle mass, which is important for maintaining a healthy metabolism. Don't underestimate the power of exercise. Regular physical activity can further enhance the benefits of intermittent fasting by improving insulin sensitivity and helping you reach your weight loss goals. 
And lastly, listen to your body. If you're feeling overly hungry or experiencing any negative side effects, don't be afraid to adjust your fasting schedule or break your fast altogether. Keep in mind that intermittent fasting is a tool, not a punishment. Find what works best for you and your body. As we wrap up, I want to emphasize that intermittent fasting is not a magic bullet. It's most effective when combined with a healthy lifestyle that includes a balanced diet and regular exercise. Think of your body like a garden. Intermittent fasting is like tilling the soil and giving it a break, but you still need to plant the right seeds and nourish them with sunshine and water. Focus on incorporating nutrient-dense, unprocessed foods into your diet, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. These foods will provide your body with the vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants it needs to thrive. And don't forget about regular exercise. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. This could be anything from brisk walking to swimming to dancing. Remember, managing type 2 diabetes is a marathon, not a sprint. Intermittent fasting can be a powerful tool in your arsenal, but it's essential to use it safely and effectively in conjunction with a healthy lifestyle. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Always consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your diet or lifestyle, especially if you're managing a condition like type 2 diabetes. Intermittent fasting can be a powerful tool for improving your health, but it's essential to approach it safely and in consultation with your doctor. They can help you determine if it's right for you and guide you on how to implement it effectively. Keep in mind that everyone is different and what works for one person may not work for another. Listen to your body, be patient with yourself, and celebrate your progress along the way. Ready to start your fasting journey? Watch this next video for all the details.